Here we talk about what you talked about earlier. We got to compete against Hollywood. We opened the same weekend. Thor Ragnarok opened a three hundred million dollar movie up against a two and a half million dollar movie. Okay. Yeah. We opened up number two per screen average. That's awesome. Against that massive. That we had very little P and A money, Princeton advertising, and people don't know what that is. It's For all promotion. if you don't have P and A money, you, you can't. You need money to get in you the. You can't theaters. enter the marketplace. So they have a hundred million dollar budget. Yeah. <laughs> we had a million dollars. Yeah, it's a fun. <laughs> so Ragnarok's a fun so, film as part yeah. of this big yeah. twenty-two oh. film. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A, so we had to fight against that, but yet we still stayed in the top ten. I think for the first. Seven or eight weeks. Yeah, we did very and well. And stayed in theaters for almost so, four months. But if you haven't seen it, go see it. Go yeah. see it on uh, streaming on it's Amazon. It's streaming on and, Amazon, uh, but it's available Walmart on DVD. And, and, yeah. uh, and our next film is Miracle in East Texas, which should open later this year. Yep. And it's a comedy. We 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 switched now, from I love the Let Texas, There Be Light. And we're we're in you know, we're in Central Texas now. But I love yeah. Texas, love East Texas. Tell me about this film. Can I say real quickly? We we're already hitting a lot of film festivals. We have another one coming up here. Yep. A couple more coming up. Um, it has won everything, these laurels, from best romantic comedy to best faith-based film to best judge's favorite, audience favorite, best narrative. They can't pigeonhole it because it's like the movie The Blind Side. Yeah. Remember Blind The Blind Side, Side yeah, Sandra absolutely. Bullock? Okay. Um, people of faith looked at that movie and said, that's a wonderful faith-based movie. All the agnostics and atheists, no, it's a sports movie. It's about this African-American that this yeah, family yeah, brought in. Yeah. So this is the type of movie that will go across all sides will we'll cover, I think anybody yeah. will love this movie. It's yeah. a wonderful, wonderful movie. You, you take it from there. Well, it's inspired by a true story, the mm -hmm. East Texas oil strike, which was, and still is, I think, the biggest oil strike in the history of the world. In 1930. But it was discovered by these two scoundrels who were just seducing widows into investing in their worthless oil Played by oil John scams. Ratzenberger and yours truly. <laughs> and John Ratzenberger, Cheers and yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Cars and all the oh, yeah. Disney, yeah. Disney, Disney movies. Pixar yeah. movies, yeah. yeah. That's great. So it's a, it's and, a romantic uh, Lou comedy. Lou Gossett Jr. is in it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, another good yeah. Tyler Maine. He plays the 92-year-old man that opens up the movie and says, when I was an 8-year-old kid, and he starts telling the story. So then it breaks into that time period, and he bumps in every once in a while for a narration. But it's an incredible story, very uplifting. Yeah. Uh, and, and we like the true stories because, um, because you, can, you can identify with a real character, right? Even if they do something extraordinary, knowing that that's a real person inspires you to great to greater yep. things mm -hmm. right whereas if you look at the big hollywood blockbusters they're all supernatural and so there's no way to really say well i could be wonder woman or i could be iron man, yeah, iron it's, man like right? well, it's all about special effects and i mean these and it's we great like the it's movies entertaining but it's not out. fulfilling yeah people can way. walk out i mean i like those movies too but i want to walk, go to movies that made me want to be an actor and those are movies that made me think maybe cry maybe yeah. laugh maybe whatever, relate to the people on stage or on the, on the screen, and that's what this one does.